So the next year I tried for the golf and that's what they had the machine. What's goody, man? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Javon Bullock. Zach's Meeks. And this is Behind the Helmet. Another episode, man. Man, episode seven, man. We got, a, we got a special guest, part of Blur Gang. Uh, Blur! Blur Gang. Jack <laughs> St. here, man. My yes, boy, and uh, Uno. Hey, man. Man, what's good, my boy? Yeah, yeah, it went crazy yesterday. What? Yeah. I did a little something slight. A little something you know, slight. Like, you slight. had three or seven for 80 yards in the first quarter. First quarter, Mark. <laughs> for a quarter, I mean, you feel me? Not I mean, for half, for a quarter. I mean, it was one of the nights, bro. Um, shit, offense was hot. Fact. Defense, defense doing their thing, locking, locking up, and so Carson was finding me. You know what I mean? He finding everybody, find up the open man. So I was just be, I was just one of those best guys to get the ball. Yeah, for real, yeah, man. man. Was yeah. it like one of those games where you were just feeling it? Like, did I, you? I did feel it. You felt it. Yeah, boy, 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 boy. Boy. Yeah. 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 You know, no, man, we we glad to get you on the show, man. Fact. Appreciate glad you, man. Glad to have you, bro. All right, so let's get into it, Mark. Like you said, I had an amazing game yesterday. What was the final? Was it four receptions? Was it? What was it? How many? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Four, Mark, you couldn't get nine, one more yeah. yard though. Man, be like that. Man, it be like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why you couldn't get one more yard? Be that sad. Come here. Come here. Hey, them touches sporadic, boy. You got to be you gotta no, be doing what you can yeah, with them touches, man. Hey, my ball look a little bad yesterday, though. Hey, that boy was like, I'm going to say, for four for right now. Nah, yeah. You definitely What you hit on the GPA? I know you checked. I ain't checked. 19? I ain't checked. I'm going to ask Ben tomorrow. Hey, I'm going to ask Ben tomorrow. Hey, speaking of GPS, but that, that boy Tyreek Hill hit a 22 today. Like, Tyree Hill. Yeah, we saying, we and know, the, we know that probably ain't nothing, yeah, ain't nothing crazy, game, but though. yeah, it's in game with the ball in the yeah. game, though. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's line. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's Olympic speed, though. Like, yeah, like, he got shit. crackhead speed. You feel me? He got crackhead speed. Stop, for real. That boy, yeah. something else. Nah, Mark, yeah. but like I said, man, I'm glad to have you on the show. Facts. Um, So, Marcus Rose and me. Jack Saint. Mm -hmm. You recently added the Jack Saint to your uh, on your the back of your jersey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think it was this year, right? No, I added I added it. What was it? I think my sophomore year. Sophomore year? Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. So tell me about that, man. Uh basically, um when I was in high school, so my freshman high school, I was living with my biological mom, my my biological dad and my stepmama. They had a little game to it or whatever. They fell out. Mm -hmm. So I'm living with my old boy, he ain't he ain't had no job or whatever, so we thugging in the house, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, you ain't got no, no, no cheese, no nothing. Yeah. So we ended up getting homeless. So I ended up moving in with my, um, my youth football coach, Coach Johnny, his wife. And I started staying there. And I was, I was staying there until my dad got back on his feet. So I don't know whatever we're at now. Mm -hmm. he, he, never, he never hit my phone back. He ain't never called me or nothing after that. So I just stayed with them. So um, when it came time to uh, enroll to college, I ain't had no legal um um no guardian. legal guardian or, or, or a real parent. Mm -hmm. So I had so these are they adopted me. So I got adopted. Man so, uh, yeah. Mark, man, and you know his name to that bad boy. Yeah. So, you know, man, you know we we close man. So mm -hmm. I you know, I know your story. Yeah. So how do you how do you think like going through that like made you like into the man you are today? Like how do you think like having a hard upbringing, like a lot of us, you know, a lot of us yeah, definitely had a hard yeah. upbringing, but everybody's story different. So I how do you think that built you into the person that you like you are today? Um, to you? be honest, I, I feel like we need those hard trials in life, yeah. especially especially when you're younger. You know, you go through stuff stuff hard when you're younger. You see things that you want to see. It, it, it's you go one or two ways. You go left or you go right. Fact. You feel me? So. I just told, I told her to go right. You know, I haven't seen a lot going up, been through a lot, and I ain't want to be part of that, especially with my family, my my like my own, my biological family. They they was on some other junk, so I wasn't really trying to be on none of that. So I just told her to go right. I just told her, you know do the right thing, and um, I feel like having those trials, tribulate on um, those trials in your life, it, it it builds you as a man. It, it teaches you lessons. 
um, it makes you, you feel me, stronger at the end of the day, you feel me? Because you learn from, you learn from a mistake or whatever, and you just, and you build on that. So, I feel like that's, that's, that's something necessary you need. Oh, it's, and I'm speaking of trials, man, and tribulations, things like that, like, I know personally, I had a couple of trials in my life, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I know, you know, me being your teammate, I know you had a couple of trials and tribulations in your life as mm -hmm. well, man. Tell me how, like, like those minor setbacks, like, kind of restart your brain and, and like, give you a, a whole different perspective. Like, speak on those things, man. Um, uh, yeah, those, like, speaking about those setbacks. So, when, when those setbacks hit you, like, it's like, in your mind, it, ha it makes you like refocus on what's what's important. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You may have been wa like wander off off the mm -hmm. track. You know you tripping, or you you might have got a deal, or whatever mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. Yeah. Right, and then boom, you do something you weren't supposed to do, or you don't get hurt, or whatever the, the case may be. It's just like it's just it's just a point that you just have to like recenter yourself and refocus on what you, what you what you're trying to get at the end of the day. Right. Oh, really? Like I say for myself, I remember my freshman when I got hurt. Um, I broke my ankle. It's like I felt like it was a it was a sign from God telling me like because at the time I was living, I was I was a young jit you know I'm living fast. He was telling me to slow down because like, I was you know I was tripping. You know just got the just got to call it. You know just trying to live a college life. Right. Yeah. Night, 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 night. <laughs> yeah. You know y'all know how. I live. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's how you know, ass, yeah. <laughs> so I just felt like that was something you know you need to slow down, bro. Like so that I so. I just took that time, you know, took 10 months out. I was out for 10 months, but I took that time to, you know, slow down, start to, you know, grow, just get yeah. better, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. And the time you came back, man, that was when, that was what, my first summer, so your second summer. Yeah. And boy, boy, this man, Mark, oh. when I tell you, <laughs> every single day, so, you know, they say you come to Georgia, you're going to work. Mm -hmm. So during the summer, boy, we work Monday through Thursday. No but it feel like Monday through Sunday. No, nah, it is Monday through Sunday. It is Monday through Sunday. But look, man, my boy Mark came back from his ankle, man. I'm What's... talking about it wasn't a single team run of exercise we man. did. Man. Yakking. Yeah, that boy, he yakking up man. everything he ate. He'll eat a chicken salad. You'll see the chicken salad. <laughs> 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 and the pickles on the floor. My boy ain't around with you. Bro, I'm telling you, hey, bro, y'all, hey, y'all. Boy, chill on me. <laughs> yeah, boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no yeah. Boy, and then come and you, hey, go back and do that. Yeah, I was about to say, we ain't got hey, no hey. little woody poop workout, hey, man. It ain't no, no bull no straight no 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 in the fire, man. man. Just jump right in it. They ain't get no warm up, no nothing. Hey, no. Nothing. Why that boy say Clay gonna dial it up every man, time? Every time, bro. Man, speaking of that, I I feel like we done hit on this before on the show, but what's the worst workout at the University of Georgia that you could remember? Cause I know, I know, I, I think we said the, the, the in the mirror fields. Yeah, what? Field. We ran out of water. <laughs> we ran out of water. Man, I think we ran out of water. Huh? Man, we the University of Georgia. We ain't running no damn water. <laughs> 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 it was Bruh. 105 degrees on that field. Bruh. The grass was this high. And you, you and they really like, come on now. Man, if I, we had water, they would have gave us some water. Nah, we really you talking about, water, bro. Cause cause you talking about a whole football team wanting to fight each other, bro. <laughs> hey. I'm saying, why are you talking about Man, give me the water. Hey, give me the water. Mommy, no, mommy. Hey, mommy. I think that was the heat. I got to tell you, bro. So me and Jack, so that, that was our premier. Me and Jack, yeah, yeah, so, so him being the, the fool that he is, dog. So we get on the bus, yeah. cook them on the bus, cause. Mm -hmm. So Jack get on the bus, talking about some. Man, I ain't gonna lie, that jump was light. And so that jump was light. Man, cook like this said, man, shut your. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 you know freshman boy, as a freshman, we had that juice. Oh, yeah, yeah freshman. Hey, fresh, man. Fresh, man. Y'all boy, that joint wasn't that. That joint was light. Ask me that again about this shit. I'm on there. I'm on there talking like cool. I'm like, hey. All right, man. You better shut up. Hey, just shut up. Hey, you just shut up. Oh, it's for real, bro. But since Clay's going to make it harder. You feel it? Hey. Nah, don't fret lead, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Fret is real, boy. Man, you go through nigga. a fall camp. Them legs gonna be over with. Everybody always talking about your hands. Talking about, you know, <laughs> I, I read a stat today. It's like, uh, I think Carson targeted you like 17 times this season and 14 of them was for like first downs or something like that. And like five of them was like 25 plus yards. Mm. Oh, no, you said 17 times? Yeah. 
May have been more, may have been less. It was something like that. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but you got 14 catches out of 17 times he targeted you. Mm -hmm. And um, so wow. basically, um, tell, tell the people about your, uh, your hand store. What you mean, boy? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What you know what I'm talking about? about? Oh, you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Fun fact about me: <laughs> I was born with six fingers and six toes. When I was a, when I was a kid, my, I had got them cut off when I was hey, younger. Hey, show them the cut. But I got the scars. Can I zoom in on the cut. I got the scars on my hand, both hands, right here. Wait, 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 I promise you. Those guys came from I, 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 really, I really did. I'm trying to find a picture for y'all boys. I'm trying to find a picture for y'all boys. Man, it, had, it was like a little hand, like a little pinky that's dangling, though. I couldn't use it, so that's why I had to get cut off. You know, on uh, number. Thir was it 13 with the yeah, six fingers? Yeah, six fingers, but he yeah, can use last his. Last week, yeah, he his was actually yeah, like his, a finger. His, his was like a finger. I ain't gonna lie, bro, his. when I was in, bro, I, I kept trying to like look at his hand. Like, <laughs> I I kept, <laughs> but I like, he kept moving. He kept moving. I just kept trying to see if I could find this one. Hey, God, I had a black ball truck. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at him like, God, is he really that sick? He really that sick. I swear I was trying to find it, bro. But it looked like it was, but Man. I can't remember. So tell. six fingers and, and six, six toes? And six toes. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's this. Why? They say, they yeah. come. my sister told me, I don't know if it's true, but my sister, my oldest sister told me that I was supposed to have a twin, a twin brother, and he died in the womb. You ate him? That's what, yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all? Yeah. Why y'all? Yeah. 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 Hey, what? I was a superior brother, shoot. I was a superior brother. Survival of the city. I won. Hey, R.I.P. that boy. Man, well, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. All right, well, I don't It would have been fun if I had a little twin brother. I'd be thinking that. I'd be thinking that, like, if you had, like, another JB. So much class as a cup. What? Talk about that. Hey, nah, for real. Like, on some real Zach and Cody jump. Like, hey, Cody, go take that test when you go. I'm about to beat you up. Not that hard, though. For real. Nah, he would definitely. But if I did have a twin, I feel like he would definitely be the nerd. And I'd be like, drop. You feel me? You know how you op the opposites? He'd be the nerd, for sure. Yeah, that's hard, though. But nah, okay, man. Georgia, you know, had some elite receivers, you know what I'm saying, come through here. You know what I mean? Boys did their thing in the league, did their thing in college. Yeah. Um, and the leadership now is just expanding, you know what I'm saying? It's keep going and keep going. Georgia going to always produce receivers. Yeah. Right. So as a receiver room right now, like talent-wise, overall, how you, you know what I'm saying, how you feel like you match up against some of the best? Like this room right here, like this receiver room, because I personally feel like this is one of the most talented receiver rooms we've had in a while. In a while. You so damn. Yeah, it's a while. You feel yeah. me? Give me your we, thoughts on our receivers this year. I ain't gonna lie, man. We got so much weapons in there. It's 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 honestly ridiculous. Yeah. We got Ra Ra, we got Don, we got Lad, mm -hmm. we got Jack, mm -hmm. we got Aaron, mm -hmm. we got CJ. <laughs> we can keep it going. <laughs> but it's like even the freshmen. Even the yeah, fre even the freshmen. Cause I prom I promise you, if we threw those freshmen out there, bro. And like, cause they know what they doing, but we actually like throw them out there, bro. And let them, them make a really play. play. They, they gonna make a play. They, they gonna make really a play. play. Bro, it's just like, and everybody got their own, like everybody got their own, style. like, you feel me, own style yeah. of play, mm -hmm. which is unique to the game. And it's like, you gotta, like, they, you gotta put them in the right situations. Yeah. You feel me? I feel like that's where we unique at though. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like, you know that's what I'm exactly, saying? Cole Bobo saying. do a great job yeah. of, you know what I'm saying, designing certain plays for certain mm -hmm. guys. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, Mark is good at this. Let's give it to him right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh Ra Ra good at this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Brock, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he do a great job of, you know what I'm saying, picking the guys and, you know what I'm saying, like dialing up the plays for yeah. the right guys, man. So I definitely feel like that's, like, our receiver room go crazy, man. I, go, like, I think we got to run a uh, shot for the best receiver room that came through Georgia. Huh? I'm trying to think. Mm. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. yeah. Our yeah. freshman year was kind of dumb too. Our though. freshman year was dumb, but then that uh, Miko class, Miko, Miko and Terry, class, and you know, yeah, that was, 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 was dumb too. Your sophomore year, no, no, your sophomore year, our class was like 
when me and AD had first came in. Oh, wait. Jermaine. Jermaine, Jermaine you, D Rod, Magic, Matt, Jerod. Magic, Matt. Oh, yeah, we would be too. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Boy, yeah, I don't know. But we up there. Facts. Oh, yeah. We definitely yeah, we right up there. For sure. Somewhere, we see somewhere in the ring. We ain't even think about AJ Green and, the Mas- and uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. I didn't say his last name. Muhammad is Mas- Massaquah. Massaquah. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate it, Jay. Appreciate that. Nah, nah man. Nah, man. For sure. But, um, okay. So, I know we kind of touched on it, but yeah. we'll kind of dive more deep into it. Number one team in the country. Number 20 team in the country. Both ranked. Undefeated. Mm-hmm. Like, what you think won us this game? Like, because this by far, we've been kind of waiting on a, a dominant game. Like, we've been, yeah. not to say that we don't work our butts all, all throughout the week, because we do. But we haven't really, you know, it hasn't really showcased, you yeah. know what I'm saying, like it should have. But yesterday, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was, it was a little dominance, man. Yeah, what, 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 like, what was different? Connected physicality. Connected, <laughs> hey, bro. But old Kirby say, connected, physical. We was connected. I'm talking about, we was all connected. And we, were, we were physical. We were, hey, we Kentucky, physical. Kentucky is a great team. Yeah, for sure. Like, great physical team. Very physical team. I already team. will be. And seven to eight times out of ten, they gonna out physical every every person they play. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that game, man, the whole week. That's we all we was preaching. Yeah, like, we jumped on them quick. And we jumped on them quick. And like on all fa- all three phases of the game, I feel like we were just like really out physical and like it's definitely the thing we could, we could get better at. Oh, for always, sure, facts. Always for sure, we gotta get better at. Facts. Definitely ain't no we ain't there yet, but but it's definitely like a confidence booster. Definitely that it was this week. Oh yeah, for sure. Step four feels the right direction. Oh yeah, Step man, forward. I'm excited. I, and I and I told my mom this after the game. I was like, mom, like I'm excited, like because I feel like now I know. What this team capable of doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, man, we could, this like, you know, I said we building from this point. You know, what yeah, I said right. ain't no setback. Nah, we building on. Like, we know what we want. We know what we trying to do. We know what we trying to accomplish. So now it was just like, let's step, let's take steps toward that. You know what I mean? Now that we already got the mindset, we know exactly what we need to do yeah. in order to get it done. Yeah. Right. 